Hey, welcome back to part four of winter golf here at Oak Tree National. It's warming up a little bit, so I'm gonna shed some of the clothes here and play the last four holes on the front nine and show you some more shots about winter golf. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're gonna play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're gonna go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. Okay, and it's always fun to get through the first, uh, you know, the first set of holes there, especially when you're when you, in the momentum of a round of golf. You know, it's always kind of a rhythm when you're playing. And, and you know, you saw me play that, that fifth hole. It's a, <laughs> it was a disaster, kind of. So, so it's always fun to get through there, you know, one under par, you know, playing pretty well. This is number six. It's, uh, uh, you know, this, this is not a, necessarily a hard hole, but the green can make it challenging. I've got to keep it, I'm actually going to go a little more to the left side of the tee. You like to kind of favor the right side of the fairway here. And I'll line, I always line the ball up. All right, let's, uh, let's get this ball, that's a pretty nice line right there on that right side. So let's get it right there on that right side. And we'll bust it down that right side, looks good. All right, maybe in the right rough a little bit. Be okay though. It's all right, not bad. Uh, it feels better. I mean, I bet you it's 10 degrees warmer right now than it was when we started. When I was warming up this morning, it was cold. It was 30, it was, matter of fact, you know, they had frost, as you saw in the other video, they had frost on the greens and we had to delay a little while. So it's uh, chilly out here. All right, let's see if this ball, is it in the fairway? Is it on the right side? And it's a good spot because I'm in the right side. Notice where the hole location is. You kind of see what the tree, they cut the tree there. That's right where the flag is. The, um, that's why, you know, I was kind of, that's why I went to the kind of left side of the tee box so I could favor this side. Even if I hit it over there in the rough, even if I'm down in the rough down there, which isn't great, it still gives me an angle. But if you're over there, if you look over there, and you miss hit it just to, even on the fairway, you got a really tough angle distance control wise. So this this gave me some advantage here, being on this side. So 124, so 100 a wedge, you know, 124 yards. Um, I'm gonna wait. Let me take a quick front slope yardage. I like to get the front 112. So between, you know, this is a 115 yard shot. That's just a good wedge for me. I'm gonna clean these grooves out. Tell me, I wish my caddy would clean my clubs. I don't know where my caddy is today. All right. Can you hear that? <laughs> Nate, camera guy says, yeah. Okay. All right, so <laughs> that, that hurt my ears. All right, so 100 and, hmm. All right, let's hit a good wedge. I need to hit the solid. Come on, Todd, you can do this. This is not that hard a shot. 125. It's a good wedge, good wedge in there. Ball's above my feet. I'm gonna let this go just a little to the left. If I hit the middle of the green, I'm happy. I'm good with that, so here we go. Hit it good, right at it. Get there, get there. We'll see. It's hard to tell how close that is. Should be pretty good. I um, it's really hard to get it close on this hole. I think that's actually pretty close. You'll see when I get up here on this green, it's a really, really messed up green. Very, very narrow. And so it's a one club narrowness into the green. And what you think is usually kind of short ends up being good. What you think is good always ends up being long because the green is so narrow. So like that. Look, look at the look at this massive front shelf. See that? I mean, you gotta get it on top there, right? But then you look at the flag and it's on the front and look at my ball. So if, look at where my ball landed. So if, you, if that ball lands, literally, if that ball lands three yards, you know, just I miss hit it just a little bit. So I kind of miss hit it a little bit. So let's say that ball lands right here. It might be okay here, but if it lands here, it's going, it's going all the way down there. So now you have a impossible shot to a 
weird shot here. So look, this from here to here is your landing area. Otherwise, if it hits there, it goes over. So that's why when I was back in the fairway, um, you know, you got to hit that approach really good because it it'll. I just know that what what can happen up here when it gets onto the green. All right, so good. We got a birdie putt at it. It's nice. All right. All right, I'm struggling with the read on this a little bit. Let's come up here and look at where. I see it coming. I see it coming in this side, somewhere in here. I don't see a lot. So I'm seeing the ball crawl on the, the left side of the hole. I'm gonna line my ball up just to the left side and take a look at it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think if I just keep it on left, in, just the left edge, inside left edge, or just on that side, I think that's it, all right. Look at that. I think it's because, I knew I missed it when I hit it, but I think it's because um, it just didn't have the speed. Like if I had the speed on it, because it's going uphill a little bit there. Um, I read it good, I mean, it was a good read, but I kind of just like, ah, I didn't give it speed. Um, okay, I mean, it's good. But if you look at that now, you can see how it's a little more uphill in there than I maybe predicted. All right, that was a missed opportunity, but all right, we're okay. I guess if I had to say how far do I like to hit the ball speed-wise past the hole, it's probably like a foot. Probably right in that foot, because that, that's, that's enough roll on the ball, but it's enough area to, if you, hit, if you start hitting it three feet past the hole or even two feet past the hole, the ball is just moving too fast. Good hole here. This is definitely a hit your drive good hole. Uh, I like favoring left side here even though most people would say, well, you got to favor the right here. It, it makes the hole so long on that right side that I would rather, I'd rather hit in the left side and have a shorter shot in. So I'm going to aim it, keep it left half. You see that kind of brown tree, left to the brown tree. There's a bunker on the left, somewhere in there. Got my ball lined up right in that area. All right, here we go. A little into the breeze. This is back into the wind. These, this hole in the next will play back into the wind. Killed that. Should be good. It's uh wow, I hit that good. It's really straight. That ball was super straight. Trajectory is a big deal. Getting that trajectory. That's why I think last time I was answering some questions on the channel, people are saying, what driver should I hit? And the driver that you get fit for. Is, the, is optimization. It's about optimizing your swing speed, your launch angle to optimize the distance. But to me, optimization has so much to do with spin and trajectory. Um, I've seen guys that hit it really, swing it really fast, just hitting wrong trajectories and I can swing it slower and hit it past them. So, so just by having the right trajectory on the shot can help so much with the distance that you hit it. Yeah, so this is, I mean, you couldn't be in a better spot than this right here. This is actually, this is the middle of the fairway, but it, it cuts, the hole goes left, so it ends up kind of right-sided. But it's still a very hard hole. Um, I mean, very hard golf hole, because you look at the pin now, it's on the left side, tucked against that bunker, and it's not a short shot in there. 150. I, um, last time, just want you to know, playing this hole about a, two months ago, warm weather, not cold weather like today. I had a nice drive, kind of like that. And I was down, I was 90 yards. So I was 60 yards further than this. That's how different golf can play from, from cold weather to warm weather. I mean, 60 yard difference. Now I really hit that drive good the other day. But this is two months later, I'm playing, now I'm gonna hit a seven iron versus a little flip gap wedge or something. So yeah, I mean, five, four or five club difference just in, just in conditions. One of the things that, uh, You'll notice that I had a 150 yard shot on this exact same line on that par five. Remember that? And I hit the seven iron just a little bit short. 
So I, I, I want to take that in consideration that the shot I hit back there was 152, if I remember correctly, and into the same exact wind. So I'm thinking, okay, I mean, was it the right club? I didn't hit it that good. So I'm taking that in consideration. So that's, I'm learning as I go. And I'm, I'm keeping, you know, I'm keeping a mental track when I play. I'm thinking about, okay, what happened back there? I had the same shot, similar wind conditions, similar club, similar yardage. So I'm gonna hit the seven iron once again to the right side. Um, I think it's still the right club. I just gotta hit it, you know, a little more solid than the last one. Let me think about it though, hang on. 150, 150, 160 wind. 160 wind. I mean, it's a full seven iron. I mean, you gotta hit a full seven iron. Um, so the question is, should I hit a six? So hang on, let's take a look. Let's just measure one more time. I mean, you gotta get, you gotta get it right. I hate to make a good swing and go, well, didn't get it right. Forty five, it's one forty five, one fifty five. So I think this is it. I think I just gotta hit it good. Alright, maybe it's just hit it good. <laughs> Alright. One fifty five, one sixty, yeah. Okay, good seven iron. Oh god, I hit that good. That is right at it. Wow, I hit that good. That is really good. I made a good swing there. I mean, like I said, when we teed off on this nine holes, I was like, you're gonna make, you're gonna make four or five good swings around. Really good swings. That was one of them. I could not have hit that better. I mean, that's, it felt good at address. Rhythm was good. Came off exactly at the flag. I, that's what you play golf for right there. But you're not gonna hit every shot like that. But you, know, you look at it, it's a little beyond the flag, but it was just exactly right at it. And uh, that's a perfect golf shot to me. I mean, you, I could not hit a better shot than that. That's, that's if, I, if I was just to quit playing golf today, I could end it on that one because that's how you pure golf shots right there. But no, of course not, We're gonna, we want more of those. That's all we play. Yeah. So 145 win, 10, 10, 155, six, uh, seven iron. I flatted it. Uh, I mean, I couldn't hit it better. And now keep that in mind because, you know, that was a shot I wanted to hit back there, but that helped me. That, that knowing what I did back there helped me on this shot. Anyway, I'm excited about that. That was a, that was a fun shot to hit. It was so straight, so good. Okay. I'm gonna put the ball down and take a read here. All right. Sometimes I'll just put the ball down with the marker and just try to walk around and, and see. It feels really straight. I mean, it doesn't, it feels, it feels super straight. If I had to come up and say, what side of the hole do I think if it's going slow? I think it's going in the left, the left side. I think it's going in the left side. Um, take one more look. But it just may move a little bit. But I see it's a little higher there. I just don't see it moving too much. I just don't, I think I feel, I feel pretty straight on this one. Yeah. And it, it just kind of feels like it might die to the right at the hole, but it just feels like it goes pretty straight almost the whole way. So I'm gonna play it straight. Kind of, it almost favors like it goes left early, so I'm just gonna stay right there. Pushed it, God, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. That was just a flat out push. Okay, disappointing, but hey. Yeah, I got up over that, I was just like, oh, just, just hung it out there. Not a good putt, that was the worst part of the day. Best shot in the green? Worst part of the day. Okay. And by the way, this course, this course in the winter, like right now, there's one, there's two groups on the course. There's us and there's them. <laughs> so I'm feeling rushed because they're, they're behind us. I'm like, wow, it's busy out here today. 
<laughs> crowded. Um, all right, here's the, I'm gonna just take it from here, but that's, the, that's our tee right there. Let me just take it from right here. You know what? This can be the same club I just hit. No, hang on. What? One fifty four, almost the exact. It's it's a little longer than that. So so look. This is what I'm talking about. Is that was a seven iron. That was a seven iron from over there. And saw where it went. It flew. It was one forty five, one fifty five with wind. Let's call it a one. Let's call it a 160-ish kind of yardage, 154, 164, sad to 166. So this is a 166 yard, hit it good shot. Um, I think, now look, this is kind of a different scenario. Let me explain why. Because this is almost the same shot as that, but I want you to look where the hole is. It's on the front. And so think about it for a second. If I hit this really, really pure, like I did that one, probably be fine. If I don't quite catch it, look at it, I put all the front stuff into play. So this is, to me is a six iron, not a seven iron. And if I hit it 10 feet, 15 feet past the hole, I'm good with that. Um, so even though it's a very similar yardage, it's a different shot. And so because of where the hole is and where I want to kind of favor percentage wise. So my goal is really, can I get this 170, 168 yards 170 yard feeling shot behind that whole location with a six iron. That's what it is. All right, here we go. Pushed it a little. I'll stay there. Yeah, it's in the bunker. I, um, Hit it good. Uh, the wind, see the wind, see I made a mistake. That shot's into the wind. See how the tee's on the left side over there? It's making the wind come from the left. So I got that ball up and the wind kicked it. Um, but you know what, I mean, the, it's kind of like, you don't want to miss it left here, but um, that was probably just an alignment issue. I probably didn't get lined up right. Uh, in favor of that wind because I hit it pretty I hit it really straight and if I get a really straight shot up there the wind will always kick them and I should have look at see the flags on the right side of the green and the, I hit it right at the flag and the wind just kicked it over into that bunker so at the end of the day um, I need to aim it a little more left just just to give that give that push of the wind so that was a good yardage I'm look, look at the club selections perfect look at that I just I mean I'm how far is that that's uh, it's gonna be a hard bunker shot. <laughs> it's a few feet right of the hole, and it's in a little tricky bunker shot. I love I love practicing these shots though. I mean, this is what I come out here and I get to play and practice, and and this is you can just get so much out of this. It's just so fun to hit these shots. So sometimes I, I mean, you hit a perfect shot. It's always fun, but it's always fun to have trick yourself a little bit. And look at this. I got a tricky bunker. Look at this. It's gonna be rock hard right here, down slope, and I got no green to work with. So once again, short side of myself, not a great miss, by the way. Um, and the other thing too, winter conditions in the sand, usually very fluffy sand. You got to get the club under it. Look at this. It's matted down. It's wet. It's damp. It's the, the dew of the day has kept this damp. The club is going to bounce heavily out of this, um, which makes it even more challenging. How do you hit a soft little tricky shot out of this bunker? Let's, let's just do this and see if I can't. A nice little soft bunker shot here and look at that just came out so hard look at this it's just it's just like clay so it's gonna be impossible to make that but look at that that's just just all conditions all right I'm actually I'm gonna leave it in on this just because it's off the green a little bit um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a good read on this very hard shot and that was that bunker shot i mean i left myself in a bad spot off the off the tee shot just hitting that bunker but yeah, look at this it's a pretty hard hole today all right which way is this going in i feel i feel like it's going that way i'm gonna come down here and walk yeah so i see this is lower and that's higher 
Yeah, so I feel like Kit's gonna go that way some. It's got a weird, it's got a weird line right here. It's sitting on a really weird slope right here. It's like going that way. I'm gonna crawl down behind it for a second. I'm gonna take a look. Get a bird's eye view, yeah. It's funny, that ball, it's going that way then that way, but it's, man, it's heavily going left off this. I'm gonna give that a little bit of, I'm gonna give it a little left here at the first part just to see, get it down there, all right. Now, I can take a drop while I'm standing in these sprinkler heads. I think I'm gonna take a drop. I'm gonna drop over here, just off the sprinkler head, just to give myself, give myself a little different line. Just take advantage of it. Yeah, I like that better. I don't have near as much of a slope that I gotta deal with. Okay. Okay. I like the left side there. It's gonna go to the right. Good speed though. Yeah, coming off the right. I saw that. Not a big deal. Okay. Tough, tough hole today hitting, hitting in that bunker. It's a really hard shot. Um, that, that shot really wasn't hard except for the fact that it's basically sitting on mud. <laughs> so the club just, it's just hard to hit it soft. I mean, the club is just, it's just moving too fast through there. Um, probably might go practice that later on today just because I always try to take there's one or two learning experiences. Say, okay, could I have improved that experience? I'm gonna go try to work out that shot. Muddy lie in a bunker, soft. Is there a, is there a way I can have a little system for that? I love little systems because they just go to, boom, that's how you hit the shot. As opposed to sitting here guessing, going, oh God, what's this gonna do? All right, so, all right, we're even par on this nine. I think we're like one over for the, for the round. When I assess my rounds, like did I play good, did I play bad, how do I, how do I feel about the round, I've hit some really good shots. I mean, I've hit some really good shots, I've hit some not so good shots. But at the end of the day, I've, I'm pretty happy with the way I've played. And um, can I play better? Yes, I can play a lot better. Can I play worse? Yes, I can play a lot worse. <laughs> so, so at the end of the day, you just kind of say, hey, um, it's a journey out here, you know, it's a journey. And this particular journey, that's the back tee. I like this tee up here. Now, the journey is, um, every round is a journey. So you're gonna tee it up, you're gonna do your best in every shot. You're gonna give yourself your best chance when you play. And we'll, let me talk about this tee shot before let these guys get ahead of us a little bit. But again, you wanna favor, see the bunker out there. You see the guy in the white shirt in the middle of the fairway. He's the line, he's a perfect line. Right there, just right at him is perfect. Notice how the tee is already on the left side. So I'm just gonna go to the, the, this, this portion of the tee, which is still on the left side of the tee, but it's, it's the right side of the markers. And that's really a good line. All right, I would love to hit a couple good shots here. Just hit good shots and see what happens. And so I got that lined up perfect, yeah. so. Every round is every round is just a journey, right? I mean, it's it's you're gonna hit good shots, you're gonna hit bad shots, you're gonna have challenges, you're gonna have ups, you're gonna have downs. It's if you can control yourself. And first of all, when you start making mistakes, like I made a par back there on that par five, and it was just one mistake after another, got away with the par. That is awesome when you can do that. That can make your entire round. Matter of fact, that's how guys win turn win tournaments. And so one lesson is don't ever give up. Just keep doing your best. And sometimes <laughs> there's times I'm out here playing golf with my brother and I'll, I'll be making a big number on a hole and I, he'll be like, had enough yet? I'm like, I think I've had enough. <laughs> so sometimes you just, you just like, what, what's going on here? But you know, that's golf. That's, that's why it's, that's what we're challenged by. That's why it, you can get something out of it if you try. All right. So see the two, uh, the two towers on top of the building there, the, the two tops there, that's right in that line area. That's where I got my ball lined up and that is my line. Wind's coming this way, so I'm gonna favor the right side. And I, if I can hit this ball solid, I'll let the wind, man, the wind, if I can hit it good, the wind will move it. So I can get it down there if I get the wind, get it. I'm gonna try to get the wind to, to hit it.
think it's okay. I, the sun, it got up in the sun for me, so we'll have to see. I hit it just, I hit it just right at that right tower, just a little bit, maybe a couple yards. And well, if the wind hit it, it'll be right in the fairway. So I lost it a little bit. I couldn't really see it. But it should be good. Yeah, it's the right side of the fairway. I mean, I'd like to be a little more left than this, um, but it's a, uh, it's good. It's fine. Part of, part of the uh, out here, like if, if you hit the right shot, like that one I kind of left it out just a little bit. If you can hit the right shot and the wind helps you, look at the slopes of the fairway, you can get it running down there. So you can add you know, 15, 20 yards to the shot. So sometimes it's just hitting, hitting a good shot or hitting the right shape and the right trajectory which gives you the most out of it. That's a lot of it. Um, all right, where's that flag? Here it is. One sixty one. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the sprinkler real quick. One sixty one. So one forty eight front, one sixty four back, one thirty, one thirty two front, one forty eight middle, one sixty four back. So that pin's a little bit back. So we got one. So one seventy all the way back. I like to when when the pin's deep like that. You want to kind of get a back yardage too. Wind coming from the right. 170. All right, let's do this. I like that six iron again. I'm gonna try to get it back there. I think it's just it's smart to get it back there on this hole. Normally it would be a seven iron, 160. I get my seven iron 166 ish. This is one right in that range, 170 back. It's really a good seven iron, but I got the six. 160, 170, 170 back. All right, I don't mind being on, I don't want being on the back, so let's hit the six. Okay. Let me rethink this. I um. All right, flight, flight, flight. Think about flight. I'm gonna give it some trajectory. I think that's what I got to do. I can't bring it in there low. I got to bring it in a little higher. So. All right, let's bring it in a little higher, and I think that'll help me. Stay there. We'll see. I, could, I can't see it. This hole, I'm hitting right into the sun, so let's go check it. I uh, hit it good. A nice flight, Fla slightly left of the flag. Um, you don't want to be left of the flag necessarily, just because it's down there. So it could have kicked down the hill, made a hard, difficult shot, but I hit it good. So, all right. So I'm gonna go fix this ball mark. I, I'll show you this ball hit right in here. So it hit right here, which, which that's kind of where I expected it to kind of hit because, like where that ball ended up, it kind of bounced to the right. But you know, you can see. That's why I was kind of debating between clubs because okay, okay, six iron or seven iron. Well, seven iron. I can get seven iron there, but that's where a seven iron is going to be, generally speaking. Not a bad place to be. If I hit the long shot, the six iron, and I pull it, this is where it's at. It's brutal down there. Look at that down that slope. Almost impossible. So, so that's why when I was hitting that six, I was like, okay, you got to keep it on this part of the green. Got to keep it on this part of the green. Okay, this is just absolutely, watch how easy I hit this putt. This is an absolute speed putt. One of the things I love about this putter, and I'll, kinda, I'll go through it on this putt. It's going right. It's just it's all speed. Just depends what the speed I put on it. Um, it's going to go in the left side of the hole. This is just all going down to the right, but it's all about keeping it to the left. This putter sits so well that you basically sit the putter where you want it to line. See that? So the putter sits. See how it's just sitting where it is? Then you put your hands on the putter. Don't mess with it. And then tap. And see, look at the speed of that ball. That was beautiful speed on that ball but the one thing i love about this putter is you you're you're not messing with it because of the shaft lean and the way it's designed because of that you you don't mess with the putter you basically let the, you you basically set the putter down and roll with the putter because it sits already correct that's the problem i have with other putters is that this is a great design i mean just bottom line it's a great design because all the putters, you get out and you're, you're fighting a putter. This, you don't fight this putter. You basically set it down, lock it in, roll it. And 
it certainly has made my life better. I want to hit this putt one more time just for just for a speed issue. I want to hit the speed again. Um, one thing I just learned on this putt, just to tell you what my brain just went through on this, is that when the ball is moving this fast, it doesn't break a lot. So I'm not going to play as much break on this as I did in the last one. And set the putter down, lock it, tap it. Look at that thing move. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> that was awesome. It still moved to the right. Oh, what a great putter. I love this thing. So at the end of the day, my channel, the single plane golf swing, it's everything about my channel and what I do is reducing the difficulty of the game, reducing the variables. That's why I love this, because it's it reducing a variable it reduces the hand variable and it basically it locks you in to where just like that putt right there it's all about speed i didn't it's line and speed and so i'm not worried about my stroke i'm not worried about alignment it's about make sure i read it right and hit it at the right speed anyway highly recommend this putting system and this putter because it's such a great deal anyway i hope you enjoyed that what i do finished one over yeah one over par not bad i mean winter golf haven't been playing a ton, hit good shots, hit bad shots. That's what Winter Golf's all about, but I had an absolute blast. Thanks for joining me on the channel. By the way, look at my sponsors that, are in, that I list in my description. Take care of my sponsors. They take care of our channel. They take care of you. They allow these videos to be free. So I, I always put the best products in my channel. You got UpGlove, you got Biomech Putters, uh, Callaway Golf. All my, all my sponsors are so great to me. Thank you so much. Tozy, and by the way, I'm wearing their shirt today. Wait, Tozy, Tozy. They have some great products as well. So pick, take care of my sponsors. They take care of you. They take care of me, and I appreciate that. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you click the thumbs up, the bell icon, and subscribe to my channel. Look forward to seeing you soon.